Hello, my name is Vic, and today I'm going to show you how to switch kernels in Pop! OS. So I believe in Ubuntu, you can use the Grub menu system to switch Linux kernels when you boot up your computer. However, in Pop! OS, it works a little bit differently. They use something called kernel stub, and the best place to actually find out a little bit more information is actually at the System76 website. I'm just going to go to the sports section and type in kernel stub click on this entry over here so it gives you some information about kernel stub and all that and how to use it now I'm going to show you how to use this here in a minute but let's just say that I'm curious to download and try a different Linux kernel so as a good example maybe I want to try the Linux low latency kernel before you proceed with any of this I will warn you that this is a little bit intermediate and you might break your system so I don't recommend that you mess around with your Linux kernel if you have no issues at the moment but if you need something for a specific set of hardware to work or if you're addressing a specific problem and a different Linux kernel is going to help you address that problem then maybe this is something that you can try in pop os by the way you're not going to be able to find any of the linux kernels in the pop shop let's say i've opened up the pop shop over here and i type in any uh let's say a search for linux none of the linux kernels are going to show up so what you actually need is you need the synaptic package manager if you don't have the synaptic package manager it's as simple as installing it with your terminal so let's type in sudo apt install synaptic in my case this is already installed so it's not going to do anything let's close this out and let's launch the synaptic package manager enter our password so this was for you young ones this was the old school package manager that ubuntu shipped with so when i tried ubuntu for the first time it had the synaptic package manager now let's search for the linux low latency kernel it can be whatever kernel actually you can search for linux dash and it should show you a whole list of the available linux kernels over here now i'm not too familiar with whatever you know each kernel does and all the variation what all of them do so i was trying to solve a video playback problem in kden live and in shotcut and basically uh, video editors in linux and I was wondering if the low latency kernel was going to address the playback issue. So this is the reason why I'm trying to install the low latency kernel. So let's search for that Linux low. It should pop up over here. So we've got the low latency kernel over here, version 515. Just going to scroll down a little bit to see what else is available to us. We've got the hardware enablement stack. So that's also 515 low latency 22.04 5.19 so that's a little bit newer so i think i want to try this one so let's uh click on that and mark for installation it's going to tell you all the other stuff all the other dependencies that also need to be marked for installation let's go ahead and mark that let's press apply now this is just going to download and install this I'm just going to fast forward here All right, our installation is done. Let's close this out. Now, just to show you that I'm not trying to cheat, and I'm not already running this kernel, I'm gonna open up a terminal here. I'm gonna check the current kernel that we're on. So the uname r-r command. So it shows you we're at the 6.26 kernel. Let's uh, open back up our information page for kernel stub. Let me just scroll down to where I need to be. So this is the section that we're interested in, set default boot kernel. The first thing that we want to do is we want to list out all of the installed kernels that we have on our system. So we can do that with this command, selecting this, copy. And I'm just going to maximize my terminal here so that we can see in the nice list of rows what we've got. So we've got the 515 low latency kernel. I actually installed this earlier, so it looks like it's still listed out even though I've uninstalled it. 
uh, we've got the 5.19 low latency kernel, which is what I just installed right now. And we've got a bunch of the generic kernels here. So 5.17, 6.0, 6.1, and then the most recent one, 6.26. And then it lists out the, uh, I guess this, these are the kernel types. So we've got the low latency hardware enablement stack 22.04. This is what we recently installed. Let's go ahead and switch over to that kernel. So we'll go back to our page here. And this is the command that's going to update our kernel stuff. So it gives us an example over here. But in this case, it's using the 5.8 kernel as an example. So we're going to replace this number with the kernel that we want. So let's copy this for now. Copy. And I'm going to paste it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the low latency kernel because this is what I want. So just the version number and then the name. So this section over here, let's copy that. Go back to my command over here. I'm just arrow keying my way through and I'm going to delete the 5.8 and paste the kernel number. So 5.19. 0-1028-low latency. And I'm going to copy the same thing onto this portion over here. And this will allow us to switch. So that's our whole command now. Press enter, type in our password, and it's going to update our kernel stub. So this is it. I'll see you on the other side. I'm going to reboot and we'll see what we've got with our system. All right, so we've rebooted our system here. And again, just to show you that I'm not cheating, as you can see, we're running pop OS. Let's open up our terminal and we're gonna issue the command uname-r to check our kernel. And as you can see here, now we're running 5.19 low latency kernel. Now, if you find that you're not really into this, the kernel that you switched to and you wanna switch back, you basically follow the same steps that I did, except this time, you're going to be switching back to the generic kernel. So just as a review, we go back to the um, Pop! OS page. I will link this in the description in the video. So we're going to issue this command first in our terminal. Just going to maximize this. And in this case, we want to switch back to the latest generic kernel. So 6.26. And basically what you would do is the same thing. Copy this command paste it and you would replace this section and this section with 6.26. So I hope you learned something today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.